your girl angry. I'm here at Waitrose to do some shopping for this particular video that I'm going to be shooting. And it's about toiletless lunch pack, how to pack lunch pack for the kids. As we know, we are going back to school very soon in a few weeks. And so this is my shopping list. I have a lot of shopping to do. So you hold on guys for this video. See you later. Love you. Bye. So here we are guys, I'm back home now and as I mentioned earlier why at Waitrose that I'm making this video on what to pack for our toddlers or our kids as they are about going back to school in September. We have new grown up growing toddlers who are so excited to start their nursery school next month, September. That is just a few weeks time. For so many of us parents, like myself, we find it difficult to figure out what to pack for our kids, especially something healthy, something that we can pack with that, that doesn't require us eating it whole or keeping it whole. So I'm going to be sharing five different ideas of healthy food, things we can pack into our kids' lunch pack to get them ready to enjoy going to school so i want to say if you are new to my channel welcome to ng super kitchen thank you so much for clicking on my video and if you haven't subscribed i want to say please do so because you will assure you you will enjoy this video and if at the end of this video my you lovely parents beautiful mom and handsome dad out there if you have any ideas you would like to share on what to pack for our kids please feel free to do so and comment below and i'm about to start showing you and joining with you on what to pack so do not leave just hold on and let's do this together don't forget to click that bell so that you can get notified each time i upload a new video and if at the end of this video you love what you say give me that thumbs up to keep supporting my channel don't leave yet as we are about to start it is not goodbye yet <laughs> so hold on and let's put all this together so i will start with the first lunch pack idea i'm using all grain sliced bread and the type that I bought doesn't have much seed for any little tiny seeds like this I'll take them out and it's been all picked out as you can see and then I have the homemade hummus the homemade hummus I made this you can purchase from the store but I prefer making this myself. So um, the link for the video it would be in the description box. So I will spread some of this on slightly on the whole grain slide. lightly That should be enough as there are all the there are all the um, things that will be going into the lunch pack so the child will have option of things to eat 
in case the child doesn't like this he or she would have other option in the lunch pack of what they can eat at least so for that reason this piece is enough but this is according to preference depending on your kids taste you have to know what your kids love try all this at home so you know what they love and if they love this more then you can add more but i like to just put every bit and pieces here and there so for this i am using this lunch box you can get any lunch box but i'm using this because i have different assorted pieces to add to this lunch box so i'll start by using the clay fan okay and drop this So I'm not going to be wrapping this too tight, I'm going to wrap it in a way it will be easy for the child to unwrap and push that aside. And the next step is, because I'm assuming it is is our first day in school or on a Friday, I want to give the child a treat. So I have this homemade apple juice there's no any addictive the sweet name there is maple syrup and the link also is in the description box so i'm going to shake that and that is the bottle i'm using and then i'll empty that into this teacher can always help the kids as usual as you know that they get help from their teachers so seal this properly you can see it doesn't leak and i'm going to be placing this in the lunch pan just that way and we are done with the bottom part i'll take this off and close seal that and then the next step is what we are going to be having in the upper part i have this lecturing but i've already had it peeled and sliced so i'm going to be having the lecturing in here can you see this Think that should be enough and then I have the baby carrots but I had to slice the baby carrots into two this is just what I did using the chopping ball so just to make it easy for the child to chew and it to go in there And we are done with that. I have here grapes because to avoid to make it easy, I bought seedless grape and I had to cut this and I'll show you why they just take one grape and Cut off the egg and then cut into two. Take out any little seed because this is seedless anyway. I'm going to take out these bits off. And that's what I've done. I've already had them cut and I pull that to the side of the lunch pad. 
This is green and red grape. So I'm going to be puffing them all in here. My little princess, she loves grapes a lot. So, and feel free to alter any fruit that your kids might not like. And every, every kiddo is different. So just put in the lunch pack whatever favorite fruits that you know your child loves and that's that i'll seal that lock that up and next i'm going to be having here gluten-free you can see that gluten-free digesting biscuits It's already in a pack, so I will leave this. The child can have whatever amount want to, and bring back the remaining. I don't. I just like to leave this pack, but if you want, you can just take it out and put rather two or three of these in the pack, and then, sorry. This should go in here in the bottom. And that's that. It should go in there in the bottom. I will seal that again. And then lastly, I have this apricots, dry fruits. This is just natural, no any additive or added sugar. I just take little piece and then undice it. Now the child has enough to eat in school. Different choices. There is no way the child is not going to have one or two things he or she likes to eat. So here we have the dried fruit apricot. We have the grape. We have carrot and lecturing and at the bottom we have the all grain sandwich spread with the homemade hummus and we have the gluten-free digestive and homemade apple juice so feel free to put any juice and lastly very important i always ensure my kid have that no matter what I pack, I always do include that. So, lastly, we have the water. Very important. So, what I always do, you can boil tap water or you just fill in whatever water, future tap water. But I always just buy the Volvic. I buy this. Is um a small bottle Volvic. I just empty it into a well sanitized water bottle and I just empty that in and that's it. Select. So we're not going to pack them into the bag. So the lunch pack for day one is ready so I got this lunch bag from Amazon I'll put in the link at the description box and that is it to we'll seal it up you can see this bag of other compartments that should in case you have maybe other little box you have something let's assume you're working parents and sometimes we have parents that their kids I left at after school club and you have to get them let's say by 5 to 6 or 6 p.m. so you might want to add other kind of snack a little box you can just put them in this compartment or a healthy crisps you can put them in that compartment 
and the water goes in here tada and then lunch bag is ready let's go to school and if you do not have can't find something like this smego has lots of different nice lunch bag for kids and you can always get any other kind of lunch bag as long as they can contain the lunch boxes. Whatever lunch box you're using, just ensure what I always do is that I purchase the lunch box first, then I before going for the bag, so I would know the kind of bag size that will contain that lunch box. So let's move to our next lunch pack idea. So for the second lunch pack idea, I'm going to be packing bagel as the main food i'm going to spread the hummus also on base because hummus is very healthy it's made from chickpeas i will spread it just lightly not uh, too much I think one side of the bagel should do, so we'll stick to one. So just this should be okay for the cake. So I'm going to slice them into pieces and you can just break them with your hands. Chop a bit big, so pieces them also into two, and you can see that it's more than enough. And then I'll pack them in here, so I have the foil and the clay fan placed in front of it. So I'm going to now wrap it up. I'm going to wrap it in a way so that it will be easy for the kiddo to unwrap. And once I'm done wrapping it, that is how it looks. Now we'll bring the lunch box. And then this will go here and store it in the bottom. So the next I'll be going at the bottom of this lunch box is and then I'm going to be hard putting in here in this small snack box. So I'm going to be putting here dates. It's been washed, soaked, and pitted. So and that should be enough. Two dates should be enough for the cake. So what I did is to pit it. You just take the dates and then cut into two, take out the seed. So I'm going to now seal this, close it up with the lid and place it in here. And that is that. Seal that. Ensure it's closed. I think this is not closing. I think because of that. Let's see if we can change our lunch pack. Uh, let's try this. I have this. So let's see. We'll just 
so this size might only be taking the bagel that's all that can go in here and then we'll seal that up and then let's see what we'll be putting in here now so i have the melon it's been washed and sliced in a in an easy way that the kiddo will be able to hold and chew and that should be enough so next strawberry is been washed and cut into two like i always say feel free to adjust any of the fruits anything in this lunch pack serve your cake any other healthy choice or snack pack that you know they love it's always good to at least include something you know your kid would would eat when they at school i think that should be enough so we are done now with the fruits So we have the dates and we have the fire yogurt but need the spoon for the yogurt and a tissue paper should in case the yogurt spray then I'm going to be having the water And the lunch pack for this is ready. I will seal the bag and zip it up. And then at the top, I'm going to be putting this. At the top, I'm going to be putting this. The dates. The fire yogurt. spoon and water and then zip it up and tada that's ready or we can also try this bag this is from Amazon Something like this, very easy. Everything goes in here. Place this in here. And push it by the side. The dates and the yogurt. Another idea how I pack my yogurt is I take a kitchen foil, I put it in the freezer overnight. Oh, and add before packing my kids lunch and once that the kitchen foil is a bit frozen i just wrap it off in the yogurt around it then before putting it in the bag so it keeps it more cooler and that's that so you have enough space and there's another choice of lunch um box bag that you can lunch school bag that you can purchase for um, a lunch box as such as this so it's very easy to pack and then don't always forget the spoon very important and i'm just going to place the spoon in there and lastly i always like i said pack water very important and then and that's it seal it and Tanda, our kid is ready to go to school. And we move to the nice lunch pack idea. So for this nice lunch pack idea, I am going to be steaming some vegetables. And I'm going to be steaming here some broccoli. 
and I'll cover that for about a minute. I'm now going to be adding other vegetables. I'm going to be adding some carrots. It's already been chopped. Sweet corn. Then green peas. Add a pinch of salt for taste. I am now going to add a quarter teaspoon of ground white pepper. This is optional depending on your preference of how you make your steamed vegetable for your kid at home. My kid, she loves some spice, so I'm just going to add that pinch of ground white pepper in here. I will toss this, the vegetable together. So the white pepper and the salt will combine into the vegetable properly and place it back in the pot, ensuring that the white pepper and this salt is properly mixing and I'll cover that to steam. I'm going to steam this until it's tender because as we know they are for toddlers so it needs to be tender not crunchy and as that you do for adults but this is going to be covered until it's tender about like two minutes or until you try and touch it and is it if it's tender enough depending on the texture of what your kid loves then it is ready and while the vegetables are getting ready i'll move i'll get this prepped down and this is a oven baked uh, shredded turkey so i'm going to be blending some of it just a few i think that should do We'll blend that a little more. We we'll still have some of that, or you could pick them out. But I'm going to just blend everything. Mm, those turkeys are yummy. The kids will love it. Mm, it's really yummy. Okay. We'll blend that a little more. And there you go it's very very smooth well blended so that they can have some sort of protein but in a very easy to eat way and this is not going to be mixed so we'll keep that aside to cool down um, at room te temperature <music> should be ready by now and now the vegetables are ready so I'm going to take them off and I'll keep them until they cool down at room temperature I'm going to keep them by the side now So while the vegetables are cooling down, I'm going to transfer into this bowl the blended shredded baked turkey. And I am going to be mixing that with the homemade sun butter. I made this myself, but you can purchase from the store. The link on how to make the sun butter 
is posted in the description box so you can see click on that to see how to make the sun butter <music> Take a couple more, maybe two tablespoons. We'll add more if that is needed, but I'm sure it won't. So we'll now mix this up, combine them gently together. You have to be patient and do this gradually. Another secret of mine, I'll share that with you. One of the secrets, not one of the secrets of mine is to give it more flavor. Is I usually add, remember that a bit of the vegetable stock, stock from the steamed vegetables. Just drop bit by bit so we don't put too much of that and then mix them up. So it will help the creaminess. We add a little bit more of that. And that should do. It's not compulsory, but I always do this because this gives it more flavor and makes the it makes the cake go yummy yum. And that, that is it. It's done and ready. We'll set that aside. Cool to room temperature. And that is ready. So now we check if the vegetables have cooled. So now the vegetables are ready. I'm now going to mix them. I'm not going to transfer it into the bowl. I'll mix that up now. You can test this for salt or if the it is delicious enough for the cake. Mm. This is just perfect. Beautiful. So we'll mix this up. Once it is combined now, I'll transfer it here to this little thermal snack bowl. And just a little bit more. I think that should be enough. I'm not going to take this. I'll put it in the fridge. I'll refrigerate that until all the other things, items that will be going into the lunchbox already before taking it out. And like I said, and one method I usually do is that I take a kitchen foil. I put it in the freezer an hour before so to be able to still keep this um, fresh so this is going to go now into the refrigerator next now I'm going to be toasting slightly the tortilla wrap I would like it totally cool to a winter temperature and then transfer it to the board and then I'll transfer it right there because we still want it a little bit warm so that by the time we're wrapping it up and everything it should have cooled down so to avoid it from drying up and I'm going to be I'm going to spray some of this remember that the turkey mix 
with some butter so I'm going to spray some of that over the tortilla wrap we'll just spread that round this is really really very healthy and very tasty mm, very very tasty give this a try send me a picture um a message and let me know how it goes just ensure you spread this round and cover the wrap properly if you have older key that you are making this for remember the vegetable the maized vegetable you can have that straight away to the tortilla wrap and wrap them up but because i'm making this as a sample of something to make for a toddler i'm going to be serving those vegetables separately and they will just use a spoon to enjoy it as a meal this way the, the kiddo is having they are having enough protein vegetables fruits and enough balanced balanced diet i guess that is enough it's well covered and just a little bit at the edge here ensuring it's properly coated you know you just ensure to spread enough all around for the cake to enjoy so i'm going to now see that so lovely i'm going to now wrap this up properly wrapped up and I'm going to cut this off now. Slice them up. This way it is easy for your kids to be able to pick them up and eat. This is not beautiful. Tell me when a kid finish eating this, they will really, really be eating something healthy and very delicious I think five pieces is enough I'm going to just have this for myself and buy it mmm this is really really mm, mm. this is very delicious mm, 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 mm. your kid will not be able to have enough if you wrap even two wraps <laughs> i'm sure a three year old will finish it up really this is joke about this is extremely yummy mm. i'm going to now transfer this yeah and wrap it up Then I'm going to be adding, I'm going to be adding this. Can you see that gluten free also? That is all grain crackers. So I'm going to be having this. It comes in a pack, but because it has about seven piece of biscuit in there, I'm just going to wrap about three up. Can you see that? I'm going to just wrap about three up. That should be enough with the tortilla wrap. Turkey 
wrap. So, and I'll place that there. And that is done. For the fruits, I'm going to be having here some pears, clementine, apple. This way, the kids have enough choice. And I'm going to just be having just a few of them. And there's enough clementine. I'll seal that. And next is the apple. It's been washed. The skin peeled off, cut, and cut into a holdable size. And I'll seal that. And the next is pear, just half of the pear, half of each of the fruit, and dice that, I'll seal that. So here we have, we have the clementine, we have the apple, and we have pear and below it we have the tortilla wrap and the all grain gluten free crackers and the lunch bag is ready so the lunch bag is ready we just pack them as always and that goes in there remember the vegetables minced vegetables and that is that so they can have enough and this i brought this out from the freezer whoa it's so chill and i wrap that up in there and then i put it in here And always, always don't forget the water goes in there and tada ready. So let's move on to our fourth idea of healthy lunch. So in this next video, and the lunch pack idea is very simple. I'm just going to pack a healthy snack not free is apricot and coconut oat bar i just pulled that there and today let's assume is a friday so we're going to be giving the kid so we're going to give the kiddos some treats that's homemade orange juice freshly squeezed And I'll transfer that point in here. And that's it. Cover it up. Ensure that it doesn't spill. And that's that. And we are done with what's going in here. We we'll seal the lunch box up. And here. We're going to be adding some protein, shredded chicken breast. The link for how I made the chicken breast is at uh, the description box. So for the shredded chicken breast, we're going to just be have that in here. To ensure that the chicken is tender enough for the kid to eat. Mm. So. I can't help myself. It's so tasty. And that should be enough. I think that's even too much. And then we have the shredded roasted ham. It's been shredded with hands. I think that should be enough. Now, check and eat it cold and not miss 
that is not being heated up you know and as we know they they usually depending on the school have their lunch time at 11 or half 11 and then for the fruits we're going to go now with blueberries so you can add any berries and of your choice preference so this is just an idea of combination you serve your child whatever favorite fruits or vegetables they love so we'll take off some blueberries just a little bit first we had a little bit more and that should be enough i'll seal that And then we're going to go with some baby carrots. I usually go for the baby carrots for the younger kids because of their, to make it easy for them to chew. And I split that also into two, just like we did initially at the start of this video. So I'm going to have some of that in there. I think that should do and child like i always say i like to put enough of different varieties so the child has a choice of what to eat no matter what the child will be eating one or two things from this lunchbox and not be hungry all day especially when you have a child that's picky so you have enough you have different variety in the lunchbox and that's why it's one of my favorite lunchbox because i can just fill in a lot in the lunchbox and we are done with that so here we have the homemade squeezed freshly squeezed orange juice we have the healthy bar the apricot and coconut bar and we have the protein shredded chicken breast and that is been oven cooked and also we have the roasted shredded ham we have baby carrots for vegetable and we have fruits blueberry so like i said feel free to add any berries of your choice or adjust and omit whichever you think your kids would not like in this lunchbox so like i always say no matter what i pack even when i give a treat of adding a fruit juice i still had the water <laughs> and one thing left I like I said less as on is a week and we want to give a kid a treat so you're staying late from work and your your kiddo attends after school uh, clubs or after school activities you, you would want to give them enough and um, like myself I give my kids enough so i don't buy any food outside except when it's necessary so here i have a snack for the kids in addition to the treats i have a snack it's been roasted the link is been posted also in the description box and this is the this is roasted chickpeas these chickpeas are so crunchy and moist also inside mm, they are tasty mm, i don't finish that up so thank you guys for your patience as we move into the last the fifth lunch pack idea i think that should be enough and that's ready just pack that as usual in our lunch school bag and there's the lunch bus there's the chickpeas and water let's move to the feet so in this fifth video we are having going to pack some pita bread and i wanted to get the all grain but i couldn't find so i got the brown pita bread and it's been warm in the oven 
So I'm going to now cut that into two. Just cut a bit open. And then I'm going to spray some of this sun butter. Just slightly. Depending on your key, if they like it plain, just leave it plain. So I'm just going to spray that just slightly, not much. And I'm going to break it and split them to pieces. And that's that. And then I'll wrap them up in a clay frame. Just wrap it up slightly, not too tight. So it will be easy for your kid to unwrap it. And that is that, not much. Well, yeah, we're going to be serving the pizza bread, pizza bread, and some little treats, healthy potato snack, and just one pack. And there's that. And up here. We're going to be serving, I'm going to be having some fruits and vegetables. Like I always say, feel free to substitute the vegetables or fruit depending on what your kiddos love. love. So I have some kiwi already washed, peeled and sliced. So just one kiwi. Going to close that and cherry tomatoes and I've already cut the tomatoes I've already cut them slice them into two not all children love tomatoes so you can substitute the vegetables as I mentioned before I think that is enough vegetables and we'll close that so what's going to go in here next now is some little snack just in case the kids let's assume he or she doesn't want to have neither either don't want to have either the pizza bread or the crepes we want to try to have enough food so I'm just going to put some whole grain crackers, about three pieces. I'm just going to drop them in here. And there's that. So now we have enough. We have the pita bread. Spread with some butter. Or you can leave it plain. And we have potato snack original pom bear because it's a bit on a healthy side and we have the sliced sherry tomatoes kiwi and all, all grain crackers I can only say I love this lunchbox so that's completed there. We'll put that aside. So there are two alternatives of a dessert. Um, either you go for a frozen yogurt or you just slip in a pack of yogurt, a healthy one. So, but in this treat, I'm going to be giving healthy um, fruit.
frozen you got i got this from waitress from the store mango and coconut flavor so i'm going to be using this to make a dessert so for the dessert i'm using i'm using granola and this is not free it only has raisins coconut chips and cinnamon so that is the look of it you can see there's no any peanuts or any nuts you have the raisins you have the coconuts cinnamon and you have all the seed looking this like the beans and so on that's what you have there so to make it easy for a kiddo to be able to have this dessert I have already blended this I had to grate it to smoothness with no seed so that is the that is the granola there blended I'm just going to add one full teaspoon to a scoop of frozen yogurt and then I stir that together. We are doing our best to keep our kids healthy. I'm going to have a bit of a taste of that. Mmm. This is perfect. The kick of that, the heat of that cinnamon is just so yummy. So I'm going to transfer this. Like I said, depending on your cake choice, you can just slip in this yogurt in the bag. It doesn't have to be this. And if you ask me, I will just put this should in case he or she doesn't have that the dessert. And there we go. That's ready. And don't forget your spoon. I always like to add one tissue just in case it splits and this one and lastly very important the bottle water we're going to pack this now and our fifth lunch pack healthy lunch pack idea is now completed we'll fit that in there and zip it up we'll fit this in here see this place comes in handy and then slip in this yogurt like i said just in case <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? Kids will be so happy to go to school knowing that they got choices of healthy, lovely, yummy food. Thank you for your patience. And before you go, I'm going to give you a bonus in this video. I'm making the tortilla wrap for myself, and I want to show you how I combine some of those ingredients into the tortilla wrap so guys it's been a very long day so i'm not going to make a wrap for myself i have just grilled this wrap just slightly in the oven grill spread it now with the remaining you remember the turkey mixed with the some butter it's gotten so thick so 
I'm not going to waste any time because I'm making this for myself. Yeah, it's been a long day, and your girl is now hungry. So you can see from I don't know if you can see it at all. Can notice the difference in the video. It's getting a bit dark. It's about 8 p.m. now. So it's been a long day from shopping coming back to put this together and i want to really really thank you so much for your patience <music> to be generous with it because I'm having it myself so I need enough veg the grown-ups love good things too <laughs> so spread that around add a little bit of the remaining baked uh, big turkey and one more thing I'm going to spoil myself this is a funny break so yeah remember the from there I'm going to be having some of it I'm going to finish this now in the pan. I'll spray in some non-stick oil. And I'm going to be to toasting that a little bit in the pan. Turn that around. And that sense ready. Transfer this now to the board. And let's have a look at a tortilla turkey wrap. I want to have a bite. Okay. It's so well toasted. And mm. did you hear that? It's crunchy now. Yeah, so this is so filling. Mm. From this is really really delicious. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed going through the step by step on what to pack for our toddlers, our kids as they go back to school. Healthy lunch for kids. Thank you so much for putting all this together, being patient and watch if you have not yet subscribed and you've enjoyed this video please 
hit that subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell so you get notified each time i upload it my i upload a new video and also if you enjoy this or you're going to try any of this lunch bag at home and it turns out good or you've enjoyed this video give me that thumbs up and keep supporting my channel i love you all thank you so much until next time it's goodbye